Okay. All right, you guys, we're ready to get started. I hope everybody had a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, now that Thanksgiving is over, it's becoming the Christmas season, the holiday season in California. Uh, we're getting pretty excited for lots of activities. We're doing a Connect English, and of course, we're going to continue doing the free pronunciation class every Wednesday, like today. So thank you for watching all around the world, and we have a great class of students here from many different countries today in class at Connect English, too. So we have, let's see, uh, Giannini from Brazil, okay, we have Isabella from Brazil, Anderson from Brazil, Saleh from Saudi Arabia, Giovanni from Italy, and Georgia from uh, Italy as well. Georgia. Georgia. Yeah, Georgia, got it. I'm pronouncing it better and better. Okay, so let's give a, a big high world to everybody who's watching on Facebook Live, okay? So one, two, three. Hi. Hi. We can do it better than that. We can do it stronger and louder. You ready? One, two, three. Hi. Hi. There we go. All right, so we're going to actually practice the pronunciation of this today, which is very important for Brazilian students, okay? <laughs> it's a really good one for the Brazilians. So if you're watching around the world, if you're watching in Saudi Arabia, if you're watching in Bangkok, Thailand, if you're watching in Sydney, Australia, if you're watching in Izmir, Turkey, type in the comments, hello from Izmir, Turkey, hello from, um, hello from Liverpool, England, hello from, uh, from uh, Abidjan, Cote d'Ivoire, hello from any city or country where you're watching, please type it in the comments, say hello, it's always fun to see which countries, which cities our students around the world are watching from. Uh, also, please share the class. Click the share button and give the class to your friends. It's totally free. It's totally fun. And everybody who watches on Facebook can learn some better pronunciation by participating in the Connect English pronunciation class. So, <sighs> let's get started. Last week I talked for a long time before the class. But let's review two things. My two rules for pronunciation. Rule number one is... Not fox, <laughs> okay. Only English. Only English. That's actually rule number two in my class. Ah, rule yeah. number one is uncross your arms. Uncross, okay? So, Gio, uncross them, okay? Because it's really important for you to feel the pronunciation and have your hands free so that you can touch the right places on your face. Rule number two is, of course, English only, okay? because I don't want my students around the world to hear a conversation in Portuguese or Turkish or Mandarin. Only English. And rule number three is don't worry about mistakes, okay? Mistakes are okay. Every time you make a mistake, it makes it easy for us to focus on your mistake and to help you improve. So don't worry. Everybody makes mistakes. Okay, we're doing pronunciation bingo today. And I have 25 words up here on the board for us. Uh, why did I select, or why these 25 words? Why are we using these ones today? Similar. That's right, Saleh. First day in the class. Good job. All-star <laughs> student. I love it. They're similar. Okay? These words are close. They're actually called minimal pairs. Okay? A minimal pair means there's a minimal difference, a tiny difference in pronunciation, which makes a big difference in, how, in what the word means. Okay? And of course, we have more than a pair over here. We have five words that have similar pronunciation over here. So, it's important to focus on the little differences. And again, like I've said in other classes, it's difficult to hear the differences. And I understand that. Many students say, Nick, I don't really hear the difference. I can't hear it. Uh, that's why you have to focus on how it feels. Oh, I, uh, uh, okay. If you focus on the feeling, you will be speaking it more clearly. Even if your ears can't hear the difference yet, with some practice, you will. Okay? We ready to get started? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm going to introduce the 25 words, and we're going to do that on Facebook Live video. And then after we introduce and practice all of them, we will then play Pronunciation Bingo, a game with all of the students that we probably won't show on video. It's not a very video-friendly game, but it is good to show all the vocabulary today. Okay, so let's talk about this one here. First, single syllable, okay? I like to put this here with just a, a one, okay? This is just word. Okay, like the Microsoft program for typing, okay, word, okay, and that's very easy to say, okay, word rhymes with bird, okay, um, rhymes with third, first, second, third, word, that's really easy, so everybody try it out, word, one, two, three, word, word. yeah, easy, right, okay, Georgia, give it a try, give me, word, word, easy, Anderson, word, 
Word. Perfect. Okay. So word is the easy one, but this one is more difficult. Some of the Brazilians are already smiling about it because this is a famously difficult word for Brazilians to say. Here's what you got to do. Say it like this. Say it like word, old. Two syllables. Okay. One and two. Word old. Okay. Slow it down. Take your time. Two syllables, world. Okay, Isabella, give it a try. Give me world. World. Good. Did you hear the two syllables? She's saying it right. Okay. Good job, Isabella. Anderson, your turn for world, world. again. World. Good. Yeah, I have traveled around the world. Okay. Now, many native English speakers, people like me who have been speaking English our whole lives, we can say it as one syllable, world. We can, because I've been doing it for 38 years. Okay, but. For students, there's also some Americans who say world. I've traveled around the world. Some Americans do that. So do it that way, okay? There's kind of two pronunciations for this. And I recommend the two-syllable version, the separated version, world, okay? Janine, give it a try. Give me world. World. Really good job. Okay, wow, the Brazilians did so well today. <laughs> they make it seem so okay. easy. Because frequently when I teach this one in the class, the Brazilians who are watching are like, so difficult, so difficult. The rule is just slow it down, world, okay? So I'll like, give it a try, world. World. Good, I heard two syllables, that's great. All right, Giovanni, try it for me, world. World. Good job. And back to Anderson, try it for me. World. Good job. Slow it down, two syllables, world, okay? I like to think of it like my grandparents were old, okay? Uh, the houses on that street were old, okay? It's the same kind of pronunciation. Two syllables makes it more clear, world. Okay, let's go back to the easy one. Let's go to Janini. Give me the easy one. Word. Word. And now slow it down to two syllables. World. World. Perfect. Good job. All right. Anderson, once again, give me the easy one. Word. Word. And world. World. Good job. Feel that difference of the two syllables. If you slow it down and take your time, you're going to say it more clearly. Okay? So let's do it as a class, everybody. One, two, three. Word. 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 And world. 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 Good job. Okay? Really nice. Next one, same problem, okay? Wide is, again, one syllable. We practiced this in class earlier in the session. Wide means a long distance across. For example, the United States is a wide country. Russia is a wide country. Brazil is a wide country. Is Italy a wide country? No. no. Italy is a narrow country. So I'm happy that Italians are in here. You're a great example today. Saudi Arabia is a wide country, yeah. okay? Turkey is a wide country. Uh, Chile, is Chile a wide country? No. No, no. Yeah. exactly. It is narrow. Okay, narrow. so great examples, you guys. Wide. So wide means long distance across. Okay, and again, it's one syllable. Wide. Everybody try it for me. One, two, three, wide. 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 Easy. Good job. But the next one is like this. Wild. Okay. Wild. Okay. You, have, uh, you can have new or you can have old. Why old? Okay. So why old is how you do it. Okay. And Isabella, I saw a look on your face. You did a whoof on your face. That's important. Can you try it for me? Try yeah. why old. Why old. Really good job. Two syllables. Okay. The problem happens when students try to say this as one syllable. Why? And they say, oh, I saw a wide animal in the forest. A wide animal in the forest. Like a hippopotamus. Uh, a rhinoceros. What wide animal? Oh, you saw a wild animal in the forest. An animal that's not a pet. An animal that is not friendly to humans. It's a wild animal, not domesticated. Okay? So wild animals can be lions, tigers, bears. But wide animals, what are some other examples of wide animals? Elephants. Elephants. Or what about in the ocean? Whales, exactly. Whales, elephants, hippopotami, rhinoceri, okay, those are wide animals. Manta rays, right? The ones that swim in the ocean. The, the, I think in, they might be like mantaraya in a lot of languages, right? Those are wide animals. Wild animals are ones that don't live in the city, that don't live in your home, okay? So, Sultan, give it a, uh, Salah, give it a try. Give me wild. Wild. Perfect, man. And now wide. Wide. Easy. Nice. Fantastic. Okay. Janini, give it a try. Give me wild. Wild. Really good. And now wide. Wide. Perfect. Anderson, wild. Wild. Perfect. And wide. Wide. That's right. And uh, Georgia, give it a try. Wild. Wild. Good. Wide. 
White. Giovanni, why old? Why old? Good. Why? Why? That's right. Everybody's doing a great job. Let's do it as a class together. One, two, three. Why? Why? Why old? Why old. old? Really good job. All right. Super good. This next one, I think we may have practiced this one uh, last week or some sometime recently. Okay. Um, this one is many students' fra favorite verb. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and this one is a dangerous verb, okay? This is the verb of what happens when there is water on the floor. Or example, for example, a banana peel. Oh, we have a perfect example, all right, <laughs> right? If you've ever played Super Mario Brothers, right, and you throw the banana peel on the floor, doo -doo, whoa, okay, that verb is to slip, okay? Whoa, okay, water, ice, oil, those will cause you to slip, okay? Now, in what part of your house do people frequently slip? Which area of your home does that happen? Not frequently, but most often. The steps. The steps. Yeah, if there's water on the steps, whoa! Or? In the carpet. The ca yeah? No, I know, you know. No, the carpet. If you have like a wood floor and you're wearing your yeah. socks, right? you are only got your socks on, whoa! You will slip, right? So, slip is this verb is dangerous with the low tongue, okay? And this one is with the high tongue. So, let's practice this one first. Imagine your front teeth are this, okay? And Zero, you're doing a good job, okay? Think about your front teeth, Anderson, you got it, good work. Think about the top of your mouth, okay? And for this one, your tongue is high in your mouth. Your tongue is up. E, E, E. And just a little bit of air. Sleep, okay? So let try it for me. It's easy, sleep. Sleep. Super easy, good job, all right? It's easy to sleep, okay? Isabella, try it for me, high tongue, sleep. Sleep. Really good. Okay. Anderson, your turn. Sleep. Sleep. Yeah. So everybody maybe close your eyes and think about your tongue. Mm, mm, mm. Your tongue is high in your mouth. Mm, mm, easy. Mm. Easy. This one is different. The difficult verb, or I'm sorry, the dangerous verb, okay, is also difficult to pronounce for a lot of students. Same thing. Imagine your teeth like this, okay? You said, oh, you're doing it. Good job. Okay, and imagine your tongue now on the top of your mouth. It's actually now low, and you're going to breathe out. Slip. Slip. Giovanni, you're doing it. Okay. Jenny, you give it a try. Low tongue, breathe out, open up, slip. Mm, that's not this one. We want this one, okay? We want to open your mouth, put your tongue low, and breathe more. Slip. Slip. Better, Slip. okay? Open more, okay? Slip. That's better. Now you're doing it, okay? Because this sound doesn't exist in Portuguese. The, uh, uh, uh. Yes. And so it takes practice to... Uh, sl slap. Okay, it's not easy, so don't worry, okay? We'll come back in a moment. Anderson, though, it's your turn for slap. Slap. Really good job. I saw that you opened your mouth when you breathed out. Slap. 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 All right, Georgia, give it a try. Give me low tongue. Sl uh, breathe out. Slap. Slap. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. And all right, Janine, back to you for breathe out, low tongue, slip. Slip. Really good job. And now back to the easy one, sleep. Sleep. Yeah. So feel the difference. High tongue here, that's easy. That exists in Arabic. It exists in Italian. It exists in Portuguese. But the uh, uh sound does not exist in a lot of languages. So it takes new practice, new methods, okay? Isabella, try it for me. Breathe out, low tongue, slip. Good job. I want you to open more, please. Slip. Slip. That's it. I really want you to feel physically that your mouth is more open, your tongue is low, and you're breathing out. Slip. 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 Okay? And many students say, Nick, I don't hear the difference between these. I don't really hear it. That's because the uh doesn't exist in your language. If you've never used it, it's hard to hear it. Okay? Like when Americans, English speakers try to speak Portuguese. And we try to say Sao Paulo, right? Yeah. And it's, My city. Yeah, exactly. And then, of course, Isabel's like, that sounds stupid. It's not <laughs> Sao Paulo. It's, and, of course, it's still difficult for me. Sao so, so, Paulo. Sao so, so Paulo, where you have so to go Paulo. through your nose. And Americans, we don't have that in English. We don't have the uh sound. <laughs> and so when we say Sao Paulo, we just do the ah, 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 like we do in English. It takes a long time for our ears to notice the uh, so so, Paolo, so, and it takes practice. And same with you guys with the low tongue for slip. It just takes slip. practice, okay. right? Let's do it as a class, everybody, the easy one. High tongue, one, two, three, sleep. 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 Really good, but now the difficult one. Remember, low tongue, 
Breathe out. Slip. Slip. Really good job, Solid. That was great. Again, one more time, everybody. Slip. 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 Really good. You two especially. That was hard at first, but you did even better that time. Really good. Okay, let's do the same one up here, though. This one is the uh, animal, right? <laughs> and you shave off its hair to make a sweater, right? So we all know, what is the name of this animal in, uh, in Arabic? Do you know? Uh, haruf. Haruf. And in Italian? Pecora. Pe pecora? Okay. And in, in, in Portuguese? Carrero. Carrero. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So this is a sheep. Yeah. You cut off its hair and you make a sweater out of it. It's very oh, warm, yeah. right? It's, the oh, color is white. Ovella. 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 Ah, okay. Sorry, sorry, okay. Sorry, sorry. That is a sheep. Okay. Sheep. In fact, sheep. I'm going to draw one up here. This is an animal I'm pretty good at drawing, I think. Okay. That's <laughs> over <laughs> And a little tail, right? Sheep, Sheep, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah so yeah. we live in Portuguese. Okay, all right. So this one is easy to say. Like sleep, this one is high tongue. E, e, e. So everybody say it with me. It's the easy one. Sleep. Sheep. Sheep. Oh, sorry. Sheep. Sheep. <laughs> I said sleep. Sheep with the high tongue. Sheep. And again, think about your tongue. Your tongue is high in your mouth. Sheep. Sheep. Now this one, same thing as slip. It's going to be low tongue and breathe out. Ship. Georgia, that was great. Good job. Sally, try for me. Ship. Ship. Really good. I can see that you're opening and breathing out. Anderson, your turn for ship. Ship. Really good pronunciation. All right. And Janini, give it a try. Ship. Ship. Really. Wow, getting so good at this now. Nice. <laughs> Isabella, your turn. Ship. Ship. Good job. I can see that you're opening up, breathing out. Giovanni, you're the last one. Ship. Ship. Really good. Ship. So if you get lazy, you're like, oh, whatever. The pronunciation doesn't matter. You say, oh, I was at the, I was in the bay, and I saw a sheep on the water. Like, was he swimming okay? Oh my gosh, sheep don't like to swim. Oh no, you saw a ship, maybe a navy ship on the water. If you saw a sheep on the water, like I hope somebody goes out and rescues that sheep, right? Because they probably don't like to swim very much. You saw a ship on the water. Ship. Ship. Good job. Let's do it as a class, everybody. One, two, three, easy one. Sheep. 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 And now think about it. Low tongue, breathe out. One, two, three. Sheep. 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 Really Sheep. good. Okay, nice. Now the next one is good for Spanish speakers. We don't have any Spanish speakers with us today. I think you're all going to do really well at this one, though. This one here is the value of something, the cost of something. $5, $20. Everybody, please put up your hand and put your thumb out like this. And this one, touch right here. This one is price. Price. Really good. No vibration. Price. No vibration. Price. Price. Now this one is what you win when you win a competition or something like that. You win some money, you win some chocolate, you win a gift card, you win some pizza. That one is same thing. Put your hand up here, but this one has vibration. Prize. 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 Feel the vibration, okay? Pride, you got it, Anderson. Very good, man. So really has that strong vibration there. The prize. Prize. Yeah, Georgia, give it a try. Give me prize. Good. I hear the zzz. It's a little challenging, but you're doing it, okay? And Salah, your turn for prize. Prize. Really good. Super good vibration, okay? And Isabella, your turn, prize. Prize. Good. And Anderson, prize. Prize. I really hear the vibration. That's good. Janini, try it. Prize. Prize. Mm, more Price. vibration. There you go. Prize. Prize. That's it. Really good job. And Giovanni, your turn for prize. Prize. Good job. The vibration is the difference. Okay? Okay. Let's go up here. This next one. I should start with this one here. For this one, I want everybody to put up two fingers, please. Put up two. Okay? Put up two fingers. And uh, Georgia, you already know what's coming. This one is one male, one, uh, ma one human guy who is male. This is a a a man. 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 The sound comes from the back and the sides. A a a, like after. Man. Man. And Saturday, man. 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 You're doing it. Good man. job, Isabella. Man. Okay, man. 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 Yeah, so open a lot more. Open more, Saleh. Man. man. Yeah. Man. Now this one is more difficult though, but it's actually pretty easy. But this is one that students often confuse. I didn't hear it. Teeth together. Men. Men. 
Moon. Moon. You got it. Jenny, that was perfect, all right? Giovanni, Moon. Yeah, keep that. I saw two men fighting against one man. Okay? So, uh, Jenny, you try for me, give me man. Man. Good. Open up more. Ah, man. Good. And now this one teeth together, man. Really good job. Let me put up. A two and a one next to these. Two plus, okay, and just one. Okay? One man and two men. Do you notice I still have the banana on the floor? <laughs> this is dangerous. I could slip on the banana if I'm not careful. I'm going to give it back, back to Giovanni. Thank you for the prop. Thank you for helping me. Okay. <laughs> okay. The next one is one of my favorite ones to teach. We ready? Yeah. All right. Georgia know what's knows what's coming. We've got to get our arms ready for flexibility here. This one is pretty easy. This is the person who is the leader, the director, the manager, okay? This is the boss. Everybody put up one finger and touch here. Aww. Aww. The boss. boss. Yeah, awesome. Awesome boss. Awesome boss. Okay? Awesome the awesome boss. boss likes to put sauce. Boss. Okay? So, ah, ah, ah. I raised a little bit of that there. Okay? But this one is, of course, the vehicle the automobile that takes people, a lot of people together. We all ride this probably in San Diego or have ridden it. For this one, <clears throat> y'all ready? Put up your fist, okay? Sally, put it up, okay? Got it? And Janini, put it up. This one is bus. 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 Yeah, the pressure is really important, okay? Bus. bus. Yeah, Anderson, so good. If you don't use the pressure, you say, oh, I came to school on the bus today. Like, wow, the boss carried you to school? He really cares. She really cares about you if she carried you to school. Oh, you came to school on the bus. Okay, bus 30. Bus. Okay, that's it. So let's start with Janini. Give it a try. Give me bus. Bus. And now the easy one, boss. Boss. Yeah. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, and ah. Uh. Okay. All right, Isabella, your turn. The easy one first, boss. Boss. Really good. Now with the pressure, bus. Bus. Really good job. I hear the right amount of pressure. That's great. Sally, your turn for bus. Bus. Okay, and now boss. Bus. Yeah, give me more pressure down here. Bus. Bus. That's it. The more pressure, the better for the new students today. Bus. I rode the bus and I saw my boss. Bus. Okay, so no pressure here. Lots of pressure here. Giovanni, try it for me. Give me the easy one. Boss. Bus. Good job. And now bus. Bus. That's it. And yeah, Georgia, your turn for the easy one first. Boss. Bus. And now pressure, please. Bus. Bus. That's it. <laughs> okay. So the pressure is the difference. If you decide that, eh, I don't care about the pressure. Nick just says that in his pronunciation class. It's not important. If you're sitting at the bus station and you say to a, someone who's waiting there, excuse me, what time does the boss arrive? Like, well, everybody's, and the person will say, well, everybody's boss arrives at a different time. Okay. My work, my boss arrives at 8.30. Your boss arrives at 7.30. How do I know what time the boss, oh, you mean, what time does the bus arrive? The bus arrives in 15 minutes, okay? So we have to be very careful. The pressure is important. Let's do it as a class, everybody. Put up that one finger again for this one and touch right here. One, two, three, boss. 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 And now get that pressure ready. One, two, three, bus. Boss. Yeah, boss. the pressure is a big deal. Okay, the next one is also one of my favorite ones to teach because a lot of students say this is difficult for them, okay? This one here. I like to tell students to do a, a long, okay, can, through your nose, really soft, really positive, I can, I can, yeah, and think about the sound coming through your nose, can, I can, yeah, okay, Anderson, can you speak Portuguese? Can. I, I can. I can. Really good job, all right, Sale, can you speak Arabic? Yes, I can. Good job. Nice and soft at the end. Very good. Isabella, can you speak Portuguese? I can. Good job. And I heard the sound through your nose. All right. Jorda, can you speak Italian? Yes, I can. Good job. Nice, soft sound through your nose. I can. But this one is more difficult because many students are waiting to hear the t at the end of it. Okay. But in native, in, in American, no, I should say, yeah, American English, we really don't pronounce the final T. Okay. I want it. We don't say, I want it, right? We need a napkin for that, right? We say, I want it, okay? But I can't have it, okay? So the can't is actually just a, okay? So it's like, I can, I can, I can, I can't, okay? 
So again, a little bit of pressure in your stomach is how you stop the sound. I can't. Okay? I can't do it. All right? So I'll try it for me first. I can't. I can't. That's perfect, man. Really, totally perfect. Anderson, your turn. I can't. I can't. That's really good. And now give me the positive one. I can. I can. Yeah, do you feel the difference? Yeah, good. And Janini, your turn. Start with the positive one. I can. I can. Yeah. And now I can't. I can't. That's good. And more pressure, please. I can't. I can't. That's it. Okay. Isabella, start with the tough one. I can't. I can't. That's right. And now I can. I can. Yeah. Do you feel the difference? Yeah. That's important. All right. And Georgia, your turn for I can't. I can't. Uh, uh oh. More pressure. I can't. I can't. Nah, you're still a little soft on the end. I can't. I can't. That's better. And now I can. Yeah, so you have to put that real strong stop on this one. I can't. I can't. That's better. And now I can. I can. Really good. Gio, your turn. I can. I can. And now I can't. I can't. That's right. I can't speak Japanese, okay? So, Sultan, can you speak French? I'm sorry, Salde, can you speak French? I can't. Okay, good job. And uh, let's see, uh, Janini, can you speak Russian? I can't. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay, Anderson, can you speak Japanese? That's right. And Georgia, can you speak um, Swahili? I can't. That's right. And Gio, can you speak um, German? No, I can't. That's right. All right. And Isabella, can you speak um, Thai? I can't. That's right. But can you speak Portuguese? Yes, I can. Good. I really heard the difference. The soft <laughs> ending feels positive. I can. Yeah. And then the <laughs> negative ending doesn't feel so positive. It feels like, Ugh. no, I can't do it. I can't pick you up from the airport, okay? I can't. So you have to practice that hard stop. I can't do it, okay? Stop listening for the T. T, T, T. It's not there. It doesn't happen. And this is true for really any word in English, that, in American English, that ends with a T, okay? So I, I want meat, okay? If you're at a uh, churrascaria, right? You would say, I want meat, but no. You would say, I want meat okay i want meat the t's kind of disappear a little bit okay i want meat i want meat but don't try to listen for the t because you're never going to hear the t from american english speakers also with don't 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 yeah don't don't do it okay not don't do it mm -mm. don't do it okay so final t's don't really get pronounced don't really get pronounced okay they'll just have a at the end instead, okay? I'm gonna erase that, stop confusion. Okay, good job with that one. Let's do it as a class, everybody together. One, two, three, can. Yeah. Yeah. And one, two, three, can. Yeah. Really good job, I'm hearing it, good work. Okay, next one. Let's start up here. If you're talking about the smaller number, the stress is on the final syllable. If you're trying to be extra clear, many times you'll go to a restaurant and you'll say, excuse me, how much is the steak? And they'll say, the steak is $14. What? $14. What? Have you been in this situation before? Yes. Yeah, like four, 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 four. So if you use a word stress method that I'm going to teach you, you can be clear. Excuse me, did you say $14 or $40? And the server, the waiter or waitress, will say, oh, <laughs> $14. They'll repeat it back to you more clearly if you ask using this method, okay? It's always going to be difficult to hear it, even native speakers, okay? I've been speaking English my whole life, and I still have difficulty sometimes. I say, did you say 40 or 14? And the cashier says, oh, I'm sorry, 40. Okay, oh, thank you. But the first time we hear it, we say, that's going to cost $40, sir. Um and you have to ask using this method. So let's practice it together, you guys. The smaller numbers, the teen numbers, 14. 14. 14. 14. And now 40. 40. 40. Okay, how much money do you want to earn per hour? $40 or $14 per hour? Forty. Forty. $40 per hour, okay? If you're the boss, how much, if you're the boss, how much money do you want to pay your employees per hour? Forty. $14 per hour, right? So 14 is smaller. The teens are the smaller ones. They have the stress on the final syllable. When you're speaking extra clearly, okay? The bigger numbers have the stress on the early syllables. The same goes for 50, 60, 70, 80, and 
15, 16, 17, 18. You can use this stress method for all of the teen numbers that get confused. Let's practice them as a class, everybody. 1, 2, 3, 14. 14. And 40. 40. 40. Really good. Okay. Next one. This one is the same as man, the same sound. Put up those two fingers for me, please. This one is a a a sad. 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 <laughs> sad. 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 Yeah, the sound's coming from the back, but the sides of your throat. Sad. 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 That's great, okay? Now this one, this is the verb say in the past tense. We practiced this last week, right? This one is, a lot of people say, oh, she said hello. No, she said. Said. Keep those teeth together like men. Said. Yeah, it's a little bit weird because of the A and the I, but it's just said. Like dead. Okay, she said she felt dead. And she slept in her bed. Okay, teeth together. Okay. Do I need to try it for me? Give me said. Very good job with the teeth together. Okay. Isabella, your turn for said. Sad. And now do the easy one, sad. sad. Really good job. All right, Giovanni, it's your turn for teeth together, sad. sad. Really good job. Now open up for sad. sad. That's right. And Saleh, give it a try, sad. sad. And now sad. sad. Really good job. Okay. Everybody has a class. One, two, three, sad. 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 One, two, three, sad. sad. Really good job. Feel that difference. It's a little bit of a difficult habit to make to put your teeth together, sad. Sad. But with some practice, you're going to become much better, okay? It might not happen today, but if you keep practicing and focusing on the teeth together, said, 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 you'll get better at it. Okay, next one. We have five that are similar. This one here is what you cook in, okay? You cook on your stove, you light your stove, you put some eggs in there, or you put some pasta in there, okay? This is the same as sad. It's the ah, 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 pan. Easy, right? Like the last part of the country of Japan. Okay. Japan. Ah, ah, ah. This one is a unique vocabulary term. Most students don't know this. If you need to make some money really quickly, and you need to pay your rent, for example, and you have a nice computer, and you say, um, I'm going to take this computer, and I hope to get, uh, maybe they'll give me $300 for my computer today. And you can walk into a pawn shop, okay, and they will give you some money for the things you own. You can go back a week later and pay them back with a little extra money and get your stuff back. So it's a short-term loan. You can borrow money for short-term by giving something that you have, okay? You can pawn your car. You can pawn your computer. You can pawn your iPad. You can pawn your sports equipment, okay? It's if you really need some money quickly, you pawn it. This one here is ah, 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 just like a boss. So put up that finger, everybody. This one is pawn. Pawn. Yeah, pawn. pawn. Don't worry too much about the W. A lot of students want to do pawn. Okay, don't worry. It's just ah, pawn. pawn, like pawn. boss. Ah, ah, ah. This next one is what we write with. This is easy. What should we do here? Teeth together? Yeah? No. Yeah, you got it, Georgia? Pen. 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 Yeah, give me a pen. pen. Okay, pen. Anderson, that's perfect. Pen. 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 Keep those teeth together for. I need a pen. If you say, can I borrow a pan from you? I'm like, oh, really? Yeah, what's cooking? Okay, oh, no, can I borrow a pen from you? Teeth together, okay? If you open too much, you're going to ask to borrow a pan, and someone will say, I, I have one in my kitchen, back at my house. Oh, you need a pen. Pen, that's right. Okay, the next one is when you um, are, let's see, let me give an example. What's that? Password code. Oh, that's right. Okay, there you go. That's good. We'll use that one today. It's also for sewing, for holding fabrics together, but let's use this, a password code. It means personal identification number. This one is low tongue and breathe out. <laughs> like slip and ship. <laughs> so you have, yeah, Anderson, that is exactly right. Low tongue and breathe out. <laughs> yeah, Saleh tried for me. <laughs> that's perfect, man. Great pronunciation. Okay. Uh, Isabella, try for me. Yeah. Pin. 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 Like Nick. Okay. Again, my name is not Nick. My name is Nick. Nick. Okay. Pin. And ship. And slip. Okay. All right. The final one here of the day, and we'll review them all before we play the game. This one is a joke about words. So if a student says, for example, I live in Turkey, he said, mmm, delicious. <laughs> That's a pun, okay? Is that funny, that joke? Yeah. 
Thanks, Geo. <laughs> Usually puns are a little bit stupid, okay? They are stupid word jokes, okay? Jokes about, oh, I'm from Turkey. Really? Delicious. <laughs> stupid jokes about words, okay? English teachers love puns. We think they are so funny, okay? And when English teachers are talking to each other, we make puns all the time, right? Okay, how do we do it? We're going to put our fist in the air again, okay? Get it ready. And this one is, ah, pun! pun. Yeah, pun. I told a pun. She thought it was funny, okay? Yeah, it's fun to tell puns, okay? Ugh. Okay, there are a lot of puns because there are a lot of words, okay? All right, so... Let's review all of these five, and then we'll review the other ones as well. Let's come back up here for ah, 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 pan. Yeah, open big, ah, like after, that's it. Sounds good. And then here, ah, 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 pawn. Yeah, to sell something of yours for a short period of time to get some quick money to pawn. This one here, teeth together, pen. Pen. Hold it, you're doing it. Good job, man. This one here, the code to get into your account, low tone, breathe out. Make sure you're breathing out. This one here, put the pressure. Pun! Yeah, I told a pun. She loved it. Ugh, it was fun. Okay, pun. All right, let's review all the rest, then we'll play the game. Let's come back up here. Single syllable word. 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 Yeah, this one here, two syllables like world. 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 Good job, Brazilians. I'm proud of you. Okay, this one here, long distance across. This is wide. Wild. Wild. And then here we have wild. 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 Really good job, Brazilians, again. These are especially for you, and you did so well. Good. Okay, high tongue for... This is sleep. 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 But now low tongue for... Whoa! Okay, slip. this is slip. slip. Yeah, and this is important because if someone says, Oh, be careful, don't sleep on the floor. You say, Oh, I'm not tired, don't worry. Whoa! Okay. If they use the wrong verb, they're giving you a bad warning, and you can hurt yourself, right? Don't sleep on the stairs. They are, they're sleepery. Like, don't sleep on the stairs? That's not a comfortable place to sleep. And then you walk down the stairs and, whoa! Okay? You, got, you have to say, don't slip on the stairs. Don't slip. Be careful. All right, so one more time. Slip. Slip. Really good. And now this one up here, prize. Prize. With the vibration, okay? Prize. That's great. Now here, no vibration, price. 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 And then here, low tongue, breathe out. Shit. Right? Shit. And then this one, ah, sounding so good. High tongue for the animal, <laughs> for making a sweater. That is a sheep. sheep. Great. Sheep. Now here, two or more, teeth together, men. And then for only one, put up those two fingers and touch here, man. man. Great. So good. The similar, oh, then here we have single finger, no vibration. Boss. Boss. Uh, uh, uh. Boss. Yeah, my boss, boss is worried about the cost. Okay? But this one, the vehicle that drives you around town with many other people, that is a bus. Uh, yes. Anderson, I love seeing the pressure you're putting. Good job. Uh, good. This one here, nice soft sound through your nose. I can. can. Yeah. yeah. I can. can. This one here, you got to stop quickly. I can't. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So proud of y'all today. Okay, next one here. Teeth together. Said. Said. And then here, open up bigger. I'm so sad. sad. Good. And here, stress on the early syllable. The bigger numbers have stress early. 40. 40. 40. And now 14. 40. 14. Quick review. Pan. Pan. Pawn. Pen. Pun. Super good. Okay. I'm going to end the video part of the class there right now. You all ready to say bye, world? One, two, three. Bye, bye world. Okay, remember to share the class. You can find us on Instagram and Snapchat at Connect English. And then as we always do at the end of my class, everybody please put one arm out in front of you like this. Everybody put one arm out. Okay. Janini, come on. Put, put your arm out. Very important. Sorry. Okay. And turn your hand like this. Okay. And pat yourself on the back. Oh, you did a good job. Keep doing it for the video, and we're going to say bye world to everybody. All right, these are all of our amazing students today. All right, so, again, thank you for watching. If you'd like more information about Connect English, go to our website, connectenglish.edu. We have excellent classes, excellent teachers, excellent activities, excellent support. 
for students in San Diego, California at Connect English. Happy holidays, and we'll see you next week. Thank you for watching.